Welcome, 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 collective, to Queen Sofa Real Tarot. Back here again with a general message. Gonna clear the energy out. Gonna hear one loud sound. Okay. Um, remember to only take what resonates and to leave what does not. We're going to see what the energy is here, Spirit, for the collective, for my cosmic gods and goddesses. Who loves keeping it real with you, Divine Spirit? Let's check the energy. The messages that you have for the collective, Divine Spirit, please and thank you. Thanks for all the likes, the shares, and the subscribes. Thanks for the support you show me. Thanks for the love that you show me. I love you back. What's here, Divine Spirit, please and thank you. What's the energy here for the collective? What's the energy here for the collective? Please and thank you. What's the energy here for the collective? I hear somebody's cleaning house. Somebody's cleaning house here. We have soul here. Hmm. We have soul. The number 37 could be significant. Wow. We have freedom here. And we have the seventh chakra, which was in the reverse. So the energy I'm getting here, collective. So somebody, somebody wants to clean up their lives or they want somebody around them to clean up their lives to get closer to the divine here. Okay. Wow. Somebody knows that it's possible too. You know, somebody has a very strong belief that this is possible. That they can get closer to um, the divine here. Or they want to get closer to the divine. Because they want to clean up something. Clean up something in their lives. Or they want someone to clean up something in their life. Is what I'm getting here. Okay. They want to be um, more connected to a higher power here. Okay. Hmm. With the seventh chakra being here. Okay. But with so being reverse. This is what somebody is wanting to do. Or what somebody is uh, needing to do. Okay, I'm wanting someone else to do here. Let's get closer to the divine, a higher power here. Okay, I'm getting a feeling that this person um, collected that you're probably thinking about hasn't been doing um, things that you approve of is what I'm getting here. Okay. Wow. They haven't been doing things that you approve of. What's your divine spirit? I'm being led to go to this deck here. What's here, Divine Spirit? Oh, wow. Okay. What's here, Spirit? Okay. Hmm. Are you wishing, are you hoping someone would be closer to the higher power here? You feel like their soul is lost, okay? You want to help this person. You want to help this person um, get closer, but for some reason they're they're not adhering to what you're saying, okay? I'm getting getting the energy that you've been talking to this person about this, okay? You want this person to be a better person. You care about this person, but you feel like this person is lost. You know, a lost soul is what I'm getting here. What's going on, Spirit? Please and thank you. I'm also giving that this could be your person here, okay? That we're thinking about here. Yeah. So we have playfulness here. Okay. Wow. But it was in reverse, okay? So somebody's not um, as romantic as they used to be with you. You feel like they're basically soulless here is what i'm getting here okay they used to be you know fun and you know 
high spirited and they're not anymore. It's like they're losing it all. Okay. Like they're taking everything just so serious, but not, not the things that need to be taken serious, serious. Okay. It's what I'm getting here in this relationship here. What else is here, spirit? And you want to help this person, but this person has to want to help themselves is what I'm getting here. Hmm. They're not taking you serious. Collective about something here. We're gonna find out through spirit. What's your spirit? Please and thank you. Please clarify this energy for the collective. Yeah, someone is not as romantic as they used to be here. Something happened. Something happened here. What happened here, spirit? Hmm. It says express your love here. Okay, this person used to, you know, be like a free spirit. They used to be a loving, vibrant, you know, very romantic uh, partner. But somehow they lost their luster is what I'm hearing. They, they lost the passion here. Okay. Wow. What's going on here, spirit? Hmm. And that, they don't like to hug or kiss or show any. Yeah, we have free yourself in the reverse here. Yeah, this person is stuck here. This person's life seems to be out of control here. Okay. They're as not as, you know, gentle or kind as they used to be or loving or romantic as they used to be here. Wow. And you're wanting this person to be the person that you met, the person that you got with, the partner that you committed to. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Please clarify for the collective, for the gods and goddesses, please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. What's going on here with this person? Just like they just falling out of love, not with just you, but with themselves, okay? We have let your friends help you. So I get that. You've asked for help. Um, maybe you seek counseling, um, marriage counseling or relationship counseling of some sort, whether it was through professionals or through family or friends. Um, you have discussed this, okay, um, about how you can help your person here or why is your person, you know, reacting this way because you don't understand why they're doing this, okay? What else is here, Spirit? What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. This person used to be free-spirited. Now they're just, I don't know, they're, I'm, I'm getting withdrawn. Withdrawn. Yeah. Wedding is in reverse. So, like I said, this is somebody who's possibly um, married to or in a commitment with or in a, a union or relationship. You know, possibly a partnership, okay? But it involves one of those ships, okay? Um, and this person is just not in, into the relationship anymore or into the uh, commitment anymore. Wow. What's going on here? What's happening with this person, spirit? They don't have any passion anymore. You know, they're like withdrawn here is what I'm getting here. And you've been asking, uh, for help, trying to find some type of remedy to try to help your person here. Um, to find out what's going on with them. You've been asking questions. Are you going to be asking questions? Uh, demand from demand master. This is past, present, or future energy here. What's going on here, spirit? What's going on here? For the collective, please and thank you. What do they need to know? That you deserve love, collective, here. Okay, and this person is not showing you any um, passion or compassion is what I'm getting here. They're not showing you any passion, a passion of love, or compassion. This person is just withdrawn here. Well, this one wanted to fall out. Something about healing uh, family issues here. Okay, wow. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So maybe there's um, some issues going on within your family right now that could involve your parents, that could involve your children. Um that you feel is affecting your relationship right now um, or your person's parents or your person's children um, 
could be affecting this relationship or at least this is what you're feeling here um, but you want to know what's going on and you want to know very soon okay because very soon is here you want to know uh, very soon so that's where you're probably asking questions uh seeking uh professional um counseling of some sort or either you know consulting with family and close friends or something like that because you don't understand why your person is acting so withdrawn okay but deep down in your heart you're, you're telling yourself that your person is worth waiting for here okay because you want you want them to come back here okay you want the love back that you guys once had here but you don't know what's going on with your person dear spirit what's going on with this person please thank you for the collective this message may not resonate with everyone okay but it is a message for someone okay and probably for you that's how you landed on this channel What's going on here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah, attraction here. You know you deserve love, and you don't know why your person is not showing you as much passion and compassion as they used to here. Okay, you want to you want to know what's what's going on with the romantic attraction? Is your person still attracted to you? Or, you know, vice versa, are you still attracted to your person? I'm getting that you're still attracted to your person, but your person is acting very distant right now. Hmm. Very nonchalant about the relationship. Wow. It's almost like they feel bored or something. You don't know why. Spirit, tell us why. Tell us why, Spirit. Please and thank you for the collective. What's going on here with this person? Please and thank you. It says honeymoon here. What I'm getting here with this card, I don't know what um freedom. And then we have family issues here. And then we have um this person not opening up to you here. But you want it, you want things to be the way they used to be when you guys first got together. Like the honeymoon phase, you know, when you first when you first started out together, it was beautiful. That's what I'm getting here. Everything was just moving forward and moving smooth and you know, in the right direction. Everything was a positive forward movement here. But something happened. What happened here? And you want some you you, you want some uh, clarity about this soon. And you'll be receiving some very soon, Spirit said. Okay. Wow. You want your person to decide what it is, you know, that they want. Do they want you or not? Um, do they want this relationship or not? Because they're acting so nonchalant, I'm getting here. Wow. What's going on here, Spirit? Please, thank you. What's going on with this person? With this energy of this person, Spirit? Please, thank you. Please clarify for the collective Holy Spirit. Okay. We have children. Okay, this could involve children. Okay. Um, hmm. Knowing that this person could also be acting a bit immature or childish. Okay. Or this relationship could be affecting your children, you know, as well as your collective. Okay. Or you feel it could affect your children in, in, in a way that you don't want it to, is what I'm getting here also. Uh, for some of you, um, for those of you who don't act, have children, this person is, is, is just acting um, not themselves is what I'm getting here. Wow. Well, you, you feel like they should be more mature about the situation here. Okay. Stay optimistic about your love life here. You you you, you know this, well, you feel collectively that this person is wor worth waiting for. And you're trying to be positive and have faith you know, about this romantic relationship here, uh, this commitment, this union here. But you don't know what to expect here. You don't know what's going on. Spirit, tell us more, please, and thank you. Tell us more about this person. Please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. We're going to dig a little deeper and try to find out what's going on with this person and why they're acting so nonchalant in this relationship here. What's going on here, Spirit? You have anything else, Spirit? Please and thank you. What else is there for the collective? 
Holy Spirit, what else is here for the collective? Okay. We have um, reconciliation in the reverse. Okay, so you may still be attracted to this person, but this person is just, I don't know, they're just not, not acting like they want to um, have this relationship here. Okay, let's just uh, keep it open mind is in the reverse here. And it's like, it's not even phasing um, your person here, okay? It's not even phasing your person that you want you want these answers. You want to know why they're acting so nonchalant and why, you know, the passion isn't there anymore or why the attraction isn't there anymore. Why aren't they being as romantic towards you as they used to be, okay? It could be um, the children involved or it could be... Um, Oh, something's going on with your person here. Let, let's let's find out why. Your person is very close-minded right now. And you're trying to figure out why your person's doing this um, to you, collective. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. For some of you, it could involve uh, family issues here. Like I said, for some of you, you know, it could involve your children. Or this person is just not acting... Um, as mature as you you know you would think they would um in this relationship okay well what's going on here spirit one more please and thank you one more please and thank you holy spirit for the collective please clarify okay this is love yourself first here So I'm hearing that you're the type that demands self-respect here, uh, collective, especially when it comes to um, when you're romantically attracted to someone. You feel like, you know, this person owes you some answers on why they, you know, I feel like they abruptly changed on you or something here um, and start acting nonchalant or as if they didn't care about the connection anymore. Okay. We're going to find out why. Because it says release your ex here. Okay. On the bottom of the deck. So you probably either let go of this person and you don't know why, um, but you know they were acting strange or you know acting like they didn't care anymore. You know, um, just just not compassionate or or uh, as passionate romantically towards you anymore. But we're gonna we're gonna find out why. This deck is sitting here, so I've been guided to just pull from this deck here. I don't know what's in here, but I gotta see what's going on here with this. Uh, my collective's person here. Spirit, please, and thank you. What's going on with my collective's person here? Please, and thank you. Well, this has been coming out a lot. So I guess, you know, we have Cheater here. So I guess that's a lot of that going on here. Okay? So possibly your person is cheating on you. Okay, and the reason why they're not, you know, as interested in you as they were before. What's here, Spirit? Tell us what's going on with this person. Why are they acting so nonchalant in this relationship? Like they don't care. They don't want to put anything into it. What's going on here, Spirit, with this person? Please and thank you. What's going on with this person, Spirit? Okay. Spirit said this person will eventually leave you or you will eventually leave this person. Take it how it resonates. Wow. Wow. So, we will eventually leave you. So, you're going to eventually leave this person or this person is going to eventually leave you, collective. That's what I have. Oh, that's what Spirit is saying here. What else is here? Spirit, please and thank you. What's going on with this person? I see your heart to be healing. I keep seeing healing heart here. What else is here, Spirit, for the collective? Okay. Wow. Your person may be ruthless, is what I'm getting here. Okay, and they may eventually leave you. Maybe they're quiet because they're ruthless, okay? Um, you have some haters around here. Okay, that that may have uh, some kind of bearing on why your person is uh, treating you that way. Okay, and then we have sex slave. We have sex slave here. Okay, maybe your person um, treats you like a sex slave, collective. Okay, 
And and that's it. That's the only time they show you any type of passion or compassion or any romantic gesture or anything like that. It's just straight sex or something like that. And you're well, you're not understanding why. Hmm. What else is here, Spirit? Tell us more about this person. Or there may be someone sex slave and you don't know anything about it. But you do have haters. Somebody's ruthless is in your energy. Okay. Wow. Something about a financial decision here. Okay. Could be finances that's affecting your relationship. Or this person could just simply be an energy vampire here. A ruthless energy vampire here. Okay. But someone may um, be acting that way and, and base a decision um, of a financial decision, be it you or your person here. Okay. But somebody's ruthless in your energy here. They're nothing but an energy vampire. You have haters here. Why is haters here, spirit? Consequences um, for your their actions, okay? So maybe you're mad um, about the way someone treats you or maybe someone's secretly hating on you, um, collective, okay, because of your actions or something here. Because maybe they thought you did something here. Okay, why is sex slave here? Spirit, please and thank you. It's too many. Why is sex slave here? Why is sex slave here? Spirit, please and thank you. Please clarify for the collective. Why is sex slave here? Hmm. Why is sex slave here? Spirit, please and thank you. Hmm. I was saying something about too busy, so I'm going to see if it comes up. Why is sex slave here? Spirit, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Please clarify for the collective why sex slave is here. Oh, they may be cheating on you or cheating on you, okay? Maybe there's someone's sex slave. You don't know anything about it here. Or maybe they treat you as a sex slave. And then they're cheating on you as well. But I'm getting the energy of your person is having someone, sex with someone else. They may be into that dominatrix stuff. Okay. They may like being a sex slave. And maybe that's why they're not as interested. And you um, right now, because maybe you're not into that kinky kind of sex thing here. And they're getting it somewhere else here because they're cheating on you here is what I'm getting here. Okay. And this is why they're being so nonchalant around you right now. They're not so into you because they're into the dominatrix, you know, the um, the sex slave um, type sex thing here. And maybe you didn't know about this, about your person here. But yeah, wow. Anything else? And they're cheating on you. Um, well, there's a sex slave and the reason why they're not speaking... <laughs> Well, these came out. Hold on, collector. They're feeling stuck. Okay. They're feeling stuck. Okay. They need to tell you something. They need to tell you their story. Okay. But well, I'm getting the energy that they don't know how. Okay. Mm. Oh, this one wants to stick out. What's this one saying? Something about changing careers here. <laughs> so maybe, um, hmm. I see financial decisions, changing careers, and some consequences for your either their actions. Okay, I'm getting it for their actions, though. Okay, because they were cheating on you. Okay, they're somebody's sex slave. Okay, or maybe they have sex slaves. Okay, and they're not as interested in you anymore. But this person, or, or whoever they deal with, your person or whoever they deal with is very ruthless. They're, they're haters. Okay, towards you collective, okay? And they they want this person to eventually leave you. I'm getting that there it could be a Pisces. I'm getting that they're they're following um or you could be a Pisces. I'm getting that they're gonna make sure that you can't fulfill all your person's needs, okay, because your person is into dominatrix here. Okay, it's some kind of like, you know, uh sexual fetishist or something here. Yeah. Something about out to dinner here, okay. Hmm. You may have asked your person to go out to dinner or you and your person may have went out to dinner. Okay. 
Maybe you're going to find out about this uh, sex fetish that your person has here. You know, or being a sex slave or having sex slaves here. The reason why they're uh, not showing you um, um, as much romance as they used to. Okay. What else is here, Spirit? Tell us more about this person. Please and thank you. Okay, this one popped right out. No contact, no communication here. Yeah, this person is feeling stuck. This person can't can't tell you um, straight out what's going on with them, okay? Because they're too busy being sneaky. Possibly with the Leo, or you could be a Leo here. Wow. Okay, a strong Leo at that. Wow. Hmm. Anything else here? Anything else here? Yeah, seeing this person primarily does want you for sex collective. Okay. Wow. And then, you know, once they got into the sex slave thing, I mean, hey, they just kind of left you on the side here, on the sideline. I'm here sideline. I said it could be a Pisces. You could be a Pisces. Okay. Yeah, that was this person's downfall here. Okay. That was their downfall here. But they couldn't tell you about their secret sexual fetishes here. Yeah. Maybe they may tell you out to dinner or you may find out, okay? Wow. But this person is annoying you right now with the way they're acting. They're annoying you, okay? They're not keeping any, any promises or any dates that they make you, hell yeah. Fucking third party interference, okay? That's the fucking downfall in your relationship here with these fucking ruthless ass haters up here, okay? Um, maybe they made your person a sex slave here. Your person may like that shit, okay? May, oh, wow, a bunch of fake friends I saw here from the past here, okay? So what about some fake friends from the past here? What else is here, Spirit? Tell us more about this person. Well, I'm hearing very kinky, very, very kinky, very, very kinky here, right? What else is here, spirit? What else is here? Hmm. I'm saying something about, uh, hmm. This person feels left out or you feel left out, okay? You feel left out because your person isn't showing you any um, passion or compassion, okay? Simply because your person can't control their sexual urges. I can't make this up, okay? They can't control their sexual uh, urges. Um, so it, they become somebody's sex slave or they have sex slaves here that you don't know about, okay? Oh, my God. On the bottom of the deck, they're, they're planning to leave you, okay? Wow. And it says right here, first card out, we will eventually leave you, okay? And this card says they're planning to leave you, okay? Because they're, they're into this uh, sexual fetish shit here. You don't know anything about it. This is why your person's been acting strange. Okay, oh, somebody asked a question and they wanted to know. So the Spirit's giving you the answer. Could be a Virgo. Don't have to be. You could be a Virgo. Okay, they could be messing with the Virgo. But your person is at the crosswords right now. Okay, and then somebody else is doing spell work on your person here. Okay, yeah. This is why they can't control their sexual urges because somebody's doing spell work. Somebody's definitely doing spell work on your person here. Oh, one is Rufus Haters here. Okay, what else you want to tell us, Spirit? Could be a cancer. Or you could be a cancer here. Okay. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. What else is here? What does the collective need to be aware of? You maybe don't have any evidence right now, but you'll find some. Yeah, there's a trickster somewhere here. Yeah. Well, of course, there's ruthless haters here. So, of course, the tricksters, you know, right there. Okay. What else is here? But your person's definitely been hiding that they're a, sl a sex slave or they have sex slaves and they're cheating on you. And that's why they're not romantically in love with you anymore. And they have plans on leaving you, Collector. Wow. You got to be able to verify something. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Whenever you catch your person, whatever happens to them, you got to tell them that they deserve it. Okay. If somebody's definitely doing spell work on your person, okay. Uh, simply because your person can't control their sexual urges here. Okay. Well, 
This could also cause you or your person to be gang stalked here. Okay. If somebody's been gang stalked here behind this, these ruthless haters are gang stalking you collective. Wow. Simply because your person was fucking around. That's what I'm hearing. Wow. They were fucking around. Okay. Wow. What else is here? What else is here, spirit? What else is here? Woo. Something about the landlord here. Okay. Something about cutting the cord here. Okay. You, you, you could be living together if you are. You could, you know, be having a discussion with the landlord about, you know, possibly leaving. Okay. Or your person leaving you or you leaving your person. Okay. Um, your person's going to want to want to explain some things to you. Okay. Hmm. Maybe out to dinner or something. Okay. Or when they get busted. Okay. Is what I'm getting here. And when you get ready to cut them off. Okay. Because you know that they're not showing you the, 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 the passion uh, and the love that you deserve here. Okay. You want, you want them to speak the truth here. Are they going to be speaking the truth to you about them cheating on you and being uh, a sex slave or having sex slaves here? Okay. Something about you taking your power back here. One more spirit. Final message, please. And thank you. Yeah. You have the crossroads with this right now, um, collective, okay? Wow. What else is here? Hmm. What else is here? For the collective, final message, please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, your person's been doing some things behind your back here. Hmm. Hiding some things from you. Planning on leaving you, too, as well. But... Somebody's been doing spell work on your person here. Okay. Oh, collective. Something about you both are cheating here. Okay. Wow. Well, maybe your person thinks you're cheating on them too. Because they're cheating. You know, sometimes it's like that. When somebody's doing something wrong, they always want to point the finger at you. But they don't want to admit what they're doing here. Okay. These could, could be just barely ac accusations because... You know, you're telling your person or you, you know, you're thinking that your person is cheating. And your person is, is looking at you like, well, you must be cheating or something. And this is their excuse for not showing, you know, romance or passion. Okay. Because they're busy, you know, um, being a sex slave to someone else or they have sex slaves. They're into a sexual fetish here. Wow. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm getting this is a back and forth thing. Okay. Um, one person is blaming the other here. But in fact, here it is your person collective. If you're watching this video, that uh, is either a sex slave or participates in being a sex slave or has sex slaves. Okay, um, your person could be a Virgo. Okay, this could be a male or female. Okay, wow. Well, it's gonna be revealed here, Spirit said. Okay, that, that your person was fucking around here. Wow. Hmm. With the opposition. Your haters and somebody ruthless here. Yeah, and you're also being gang stalked here. Okay. Well, yeah, your person has a new lover here. What else is here, spirit? They may ask for your help um, doing something here because something's going to happen where you're going to tell this person um, that they deserve it here. Okay. Clarify, spirit, please and thank you. Wow. Hmm. Well, the opposition is going to be telling this to, to your person here. Okay, the person, the Rufus hater that, you know, is trying to hate on you. Yeah, they're going to be revealed here. Okay, they're going to be revealed here. Wow. There's a male who may be asking for your help here or a female. I said it was a male or a female. I was picking up both energies here. Oh, what else is here, Spirit? Uh, Spirit said so you might not get a response, though. You might not get a response, but, you know, make a wise decision. Something about a brother here. Okay. And something about jail time here. And also something about uh, too emotional here. So maybe this person may be getting some jail time because they may get caught up um, having sex with underage um, males and females here is what I'm getting here. Okay. That's something to do with a brother here. Wow. And, and, and somebody's going to ask for help, but they're a little too emotional here. Um, after this gets revealed here, 
uh, whatever's going to be revealed here. And I think it's about being, cheating on you and about um, being a sex slave here. Wow. Okay. What else is here, Spirit? Anything else? You have anything else, Spirit? Wow. I'm getting that you're going to confront this person about this. And you're not going to... Um, you're very intuitive, but you're not going to get an answer. Okay, this person's going to pretend like they're puzzled at your question here. Is what I'm getting here. But you're very intuitive. Okay. What else is here? But they're not going to respond to your question. They're not going to respond. Because they're not going to be able to tell you the truth. The Spirit said they're not going to be able to tell you the truth here. So, wow. Well, whoever this is, okay. Just know that you're dealing with a trickster here. Okay, and they think they can hide this from you. Okay, they're nothing but an energy vampire. They're not being responsive to you in a compassionate way or a romantic, passionate way because, you know, they're a sex slave here and they're cheating on you. But they want to make it seem like you're cheating on them. The Spirit said that's the truth. Okay. They're cheating with the male or female. Take how it resonates. Okay. But that's soon going to be revealed here, Spirit said. Okay. Wow. Well, you're going to be able to verify it too, okay, about the third-party interference here, okay? Could be, could be any sign, okay? But yeah, your person can't control their sexual urges here. They have a lot of sexual fetishes that you don't know about. Again, they're a trickster here, okay? And they're just planning your energy. They're an energy vampire. All right, that's what I have for you now, okay? Um, until next time, peace.